What would you do if you knew the exact date the world might end? Would you panic? Would you try to stop it? Or would you pretend it wasn't real? Because right now, we do know a date. April 13th, 2029. On that day, a mountain-sized asteroid called Apophis will pass closer to Earth than many of our own satellites, close enough to see with the naked eye, close enough to feel in your gut. Scientists say it will miss us. But what if they're wrong? In ancient Egyptian mythology, Apophis was the god of chaos, a giant serpent that battled the sun itself, a bringer of destruction, an unstoppable force. Every night, Apophis would rise from the darkness of the underworld and attempt to swallow the sun, threatening to plunge the world into eternal darkness. In the myth, the sun survived, but only just. Today, Apophis has another meaning. It's the name we've given to a massive asteroid, one that will pass so close to Earth you'll be able to see it with the naked eye. No telescope, no binoculars, just there, in the sky. Its official designation, 99,942 Apophis. Its size, 370 meters across, taller than the Empire State Building. Its speed, 31,000 kilometers per hour. And its projected arrival, April 13th, 2029. Scientists say it will miss us. But what if they're wrong? On that April day, Apophis will skim past Earth at just 31,000 kilometers away. That's closer than many of our satellites. Closer than the moon, by a factor of 10. Close enough to feel, if not physically, then psychologically. Imagine standing outside and looking up, seeing a slow-moving point of light drifting across the night sky, knowing it's an asteroid the size of a mountain, knowing it's passing inside the orbit of our own geostationary satellites, knowing that if it were just a little off course, this would be the end. We've tracked it for years. Early calculations gave it a 1 in 37 chance of impact, the highest ever recorded for a known asteroid. That number has since dropped to zero, at least, for 2029. But here's the unsettling part. When an asteroid passes this close, Earth's gravity changes its path. And when Apophis swings around us, that path could lead it back to us. So, what if Apophis doesn't miss? First, the energy. If it struck Earth, Apophis would release the equivalent of 1,000 megatons of TNT. That's 20 times the yield of the largest nuclear weapon ever detonated. It's an explosion so vast it's hard to visualize. A fireball brighter than the sun. A shockwave traveling faster than sound. An earthquake rolling out from ground zero. An atmosphere filled with heat and dust. If it hit land, an entire region could be flattened in seconds. Cities erased. The death toll in the millions. Everything within hundreds of kilometers. Gone. The blast wave would level buildings for hundreds of kilometers. Shattered glass and debris would injure survivors far beyond the impact zone. Fires would rage uncontrollably in the destruction's wake. If it struck water, the effects could be even more unpredictable. A massive tsunami could race across oceans, devastating coastlines on multiple continents. Entire cities drowned within hours, ports, shipping lanes, and coastal economies destroyed. And then, there's the climate. Dust and debris could be thrown into the upper atmosphere, blocking sunlight for months. Temperatures could drop across the globe. Growing seasons could shorten, leading to failed crops and food shortages. The chaos wouldn't just be physical, 
It would be economic, political, and psychological. We're not talking extinction level. We're talking civilization level. Impact location matters more than most people think. If Apophis were to strike in the ocean, tsunamis could flood cities thousands of kilometers away. The initial wave wouldn't be like the ones we see in movies. It would be walls of water kilometers high near the impact, spreading outward in all directions. If it struck land, it could wipe out an entire metropolitan area instantly. Infrastructure gone, hospitals gone, emergency services gone. Scientists use something called the impact corridor, a narrow path across Earth where an asteroid might strike. Depending on its approach and angle of entry, this corridor can span thousands of kilometers, but only a small shift in trajectory could change the point of impact from open ocean to a capital city. For Apophis, early simulations once crossed regions of Asia, North America, and parts of Europe. Even the safest outcome, a remote ocean impact, would send shockwaves through the entire world economy. And even if you weren't in the direct impact zone, you'd still feel the aftermath, food shortages, economic collapse, refugee crises on an unprecedented scale. Here's the big question. If we knew it was going to hit, could we stop it? In 2022, NASA's DART mission proved we can change an asteroid's trajectory. A spacecraft the size of a vending machine slammed into a small moonlet, nudging its orbit. It was a huge success, a proof of concept. But Apophis isn't a small moonlet. At 370 meters, it's too big for a single DART-style mission, especially if we had only months to act. To deflect something that large, we'd need years of preparation, multiple impactors, coordinated international launches, or more extreme measures, like a nuclear detonation in space. The problem is, none of these options are ready to deploy at a moment's notice. Right now, our planetary defense capability is more of a science experiment than an actual shield. Here's what makes Apophis unique. We have a warning. We know the date. We know it's coming. But warning doesn't always equal preparation. Asteroid defense is expensive. It requires global cooperation. And right now, there's no binding treaty forcing nations to fund it. Think about how slowly governments respond to problems we can see. Things like pandemics, infrastructure decay, or climate change. Now, imagine trying to rally the world to prepare for a hypothetical rock that might not hit for decades. In other words, if Apophis did shift onto a collision course, we might still waste precious time debating what to do. And time is the one thing we wouldn't have. Even if Apophis misses in 2029, and it probably will, that's not the end of the story. When it passes, Earth's gravity will pull on it, altering its orbit slightly. If it passes through a specific region of space, what scientists call a gravitational keyhole, it could set Apophis on a direct path back to Earth in the late 2030 or beyond. A keyhole isn't big, sometimes only a few hundred meters wide in space. But if Apophis threads that needle, the countdown begins. Think of it like a cosmic game of billiards. One close pass can set up the next shot, and the next one might be aimed right at us. Apophis may be the most famous asteroid in recent history, but it's not the only one. NASA tracks over 30,000 near-Earth objects, asteroids and comets whose orbits bring them close to ours. And that's just the ones we know about. Thousands more remain undiscovered, including many that approach from the direction of the Sun. 
making them nearly impossible to detect until it's too late. Chelyabinsk proved it doesn't take a giant asteroid to cause chaos. A rock just 20 meters wide injured over 1,600 people. Apophis is nearly 20 times larger. History tells us impacts are not rare. They're inevitable, given enough time. It's not a matter of if, it's when. If Apophis were confirmed to be on an impact course, the timeline of human history would change instantly. Markets would collapse. Mass evacuations would be ordered. But only for those in the predicted impact zone. Panic would spread faster than facts. Governments might impose martial law to maintain order. If the impact was decades away, it could unite the planet in an unprecedented global effort to stop it. If it was only months away, it could be the end of modern society as we know it. And yet, humanity has a habit of ignoring problems until they're urgent. That's the real danger. So, what if Apophis doesn't miss? It would be one of the most devastating events in human history. But it would also be preventable. We have the technology to see it coming. We're developing the tools to stop it. But what we lack is urgency. The danger of Apophis isn't just its size or its speed. It's the reminder that we live in a shooting gallery. And so far, we've survived through luck. Luck isn't a plan. When April 13th, 2029 comes, look up. You may see a bright point of light gliding across the sky. That's Apophis. And while it may miss us this time, the universe doesn't keep score. It doesn't remember the near misses only the hits. What did you think about today's journey? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I read every single one. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss what's coming next. We've got more strange, unsettling, and fascinating stories from the universe headed your way. Until then, Stay safe and stay curious.